Hello friends, I've never seen this many F4 cars in one race. We are in sunny Kent for round one of the British F4 Championship and we're starting at my home circuit in iRacing Brands Hatch. Now of course this is a league race with a limit of adhesion and there are over 40 drivers signed up for the season, most of whom are in teams and 37 have turned up to this round. So the racing is going to be frantic around this tiny event. So. Here is the event format, 60 minute qualifying, 20 minute race, and then the second 20 minute race, which will have a inverted top eight. And some more details here about the event here at Brands Hatch. Now important to note is that there are two championships within the one race, a top split and a club 1500. And race points will be allocated to both championships as follows there on screen. Top 15 plus pole, posi pole position. Now. I've teamed up with Gareth Winslaid to create a new team called No Slots, No Glory, which really pays homage to our passion, well, our love of slot car racing. I have a few slot car collections and that was used to spend my time really before I got into sim racing. Now qualifying, with it being a 60 minute uh, session, you would have a heavy fuel load. The idea was the more you went into qualifying the more fuel you burnt off and the quicker you got now i struggled with this yeah, firstly the track was uh, really busy you can see here how busy the the track we got would get uh difficult to get a lap in and it, it would take some time just to even get down to half the track uh, people would be spinning out uh, Yes, I struggled with a heavy fuel car and uh, and some bad things happened. I, I would spin out when I did get eventually down to uh, to half a track, uh, half a tank. Here you can see, you know, sometimes you get laps ruined. I was up there, uh, but this was the main problem going into turn one. You know, it's happened a few times. It would spin, damage the car. I'd have to start again on a high fuel load. So I never got to a position to set a really quick lap. The strength of the field was 18.39, uh, but th this is how people gridded up for the first race. You had Miller on pole position followed by Greening. And looking down the field, you see 22nd place, Gareth, my teammate. That's where he qualified, and I was way down in 27th with a 124.506. So that's the full grid, full 37 cars. So let's go to race one. Now Gareth and I are racing in top split together and I get an okay start here. Everything seems to be clean. I just want to play it safe into turn one. There's a lot of cars, so there's an awful lot of opportunities for things to go wrong. So try and keep the car clean going here. People are being very careful on this opening lap. All clean so far, but then, oh, there's a crash up ahead. I'm not quite sure who, who that is, uh, but we take advantage, we get past. It looks like uh, Ben was involved in that. So it's just a group of cars. There's not really anywhere to go. I could put more pressure, try for a pass, but you may get trapped. Starting behind James, who is a viewer of the channel, and uh, yeah, just getting a feel of the car, see what's possible. He's looking like he wants to get past uh, Dan. But how quickly things become single file around this track is good for, the, for that. Difficult corner, that one. Looks like a pass is being attempted. Oh, and there's one off. There, can we get past? Yep, yeah, we can get past Reese. So that's another position made up. Lots of uh, pressure coming in from behind as well. Uh, I can see Gareth now, my relative, up there. So we've already made up a few positions uh, on that lap, up to 20th place. So there's uh, a lot more happenings that have been going on. Can I get past down here? Here, on the inside. Oh, I get slightly squeezed, I have to cut, come out of it. 
but maybe we can get him uh, a bit later in the race. So James has managed to get past Dan there. Oh, James is a bit wide. We've got a good run. I take a tear off. That's how dirty things have got so far. But it's not not good enough run to get a hill here into the corner. That's a one exit. I didn't quite get uh, around that properly. But the things are really grouping out. They're bunching up now. Was well, so, and Pepper's off. James James is off. And Dan's hit the back of Foster there. And he's off in, into the barrier. So more positions gained. And now things are becoming a little bit more stretched. So a bit more comfortable. So I feel like I, I can push on a bit more. But Reese is uh, caught up behind. He's putting a lot of pressure. He's going uh, hard into the corners. So something to keep in mind here. Can I close, close up with, to Chris? I feel like if I, I can, I might be able to get an opportunity to pass. And then, then we'd be right behind my teammate. So let's have a look at the replays here at the start. It looks like uh, someone's uh, creeping on the start. Uh, I expect they got a penalty f for that. But other than that, everything was quite clean there. All safety around the first corner and all safety around up here in Druids. Then we follow the 11 car. He gets the back into the back of car front and uh, Ben unfortunately hits him then we see how James just got pushed off really well not pushed off he just ran out of track and then Dan into the back of Foster and into the barrier so jump forward now to lap 5 and uh, it's still the same in front Forrester is still behind uh, Windslade and I haven't really been able to close up as much as I like at this point but it's still only Reese uh, putting pressure on behind, but Garris looking a bit sloppy at the moment. And then there's smoke. I have to. I take a wide line because Reese throws it up in the inside. I wasn't too appreciative of that. It compromises my exit. Uh, now I'm worried that uh, Gareth is starting to maybe push a bit too hard. We we'll see what happens. Can I uh, close up and take advantage? Chris is a bit wide in that in that turn, uh, but things are starting to group up again up, up ahead. Uh, the three cars ahead of Gareth uh, look like they're going a bit slower. Gareth's a bit wide there, almost off. But still, uh, it's actually I'm going to have to defend here because Reese is uh, looking to shape a move. But I get a good exit at this corner defend a bit more he, he's he's really close he really wants to get past he is in the same championship as me so we are actually battling for this spot up to 18th now so thinking uh, you know top 15 score uh, but there are definitely some in the lower division championship ahead so might actually be sitting in a points playing position and things are really grouping up now so certainly expecting something uh, to happen and Chris has run right out that corner. He might have been put off, but Gareth hitting the curb hard. I'll uh, take advantage. So now I've made up another position, and it is just my teammate ahead. But he's looking to put some more distance between us and get past Dano and Murphy. And they're aligned to Stern up ahead. And there's a slow car. Who's that? That's Mac McManaman. He's going slow. I'm, it's caused me to catch the group right up. Is he going to let me pass? No, no, he's not. Okay. Oh, no. we almost come together there. That was a bit of a sketchy moment. Seat of the pants stuff. Uh, what it has allowed is me to get a little gap 
on those behind. Rhys has got past Chris, uh, so I'm sure he'll be catching up again pretty quickly. So that's us up to 17th, and I'm thinking, oh, this is going well. We're making up positions uh, in good enough time, and there's still enough cars up ahead where we could possibly get uh, some more positions. And I make a mistake there. I don't change down the third, bogs down the car. We lose a bit of time. But there's yellow flag, what's happened? And Dano's put it spun it on the yellow flag maybe he could see what was happening and just put him off but Mark is going slow he's going to slot him behind Gareth I think yes he does so something's happened there for him to go slow he's dropped down from 7th place so I'm sure he, he's quick uh, but it's good to see that Gareth made up a couple of positions there we, we've made up one more so we're up to 16th I would think but I'm going to have to defend again. Reese is super quick at the moment. He's all over us, but there's nowhere for him to go. Uh, if we defend uh, the inside position. Yep, and we get a good run out there. And there's someone that's, that Shaw looks like stopped in the pit lane, but he was a lap down. Or maybe it wasn't Shaw, it was someone else. <laughs> so much is happening, I can't keep track of it. It's the start of uh, lap 8, we're about halfway through the race now, and uh, Gareth's looking to shape some moves. Is he trying to get past Chris? He has, he's got past Chris. Uh, Chris is, oh he's run off, is this an opportunity for me to get past? He's in the Club 1500 Championship so we're not competing for points. He may let us pass, I go to the outside. Can we get this move done? Yeah, he lets off. He doesn't want to get involved in uh, our battle in, in top split. So that's another position. So I'm definitely in a points playing position now. So this is going really well. Uh, I'm very pleased with how things are going at the moment. But still a long way to go in this race. Anything can happen. Uh, and I may tire out. Gareth's going for a move, and I'm too busy looking at that. And oh no! <laughs> Reese has got into the back of us and it's punted us off. And how quickly things have changed. We managed to get out to a point pain position, but we're going to have to take a tow because the car is broken. Let's have a look at replay here. I just get a bit squirrely, and Reese is into the back of us and punts. Punts us off really, he didn't really have anywhere to go, it's my mistake. Uh, we do get back out eventually uh, after towing and uh, nothing much happens in the race. And we bring it home in 27th, exactly the position where we started. And uh, almost exactly a lap down where on Gareth, he finishes behind us. And there we are, a bit of a team formation flying there at the end of the race. Uh, we probably should have choreographed something, but we didn't arrange anything at all so there we have race one I'm a bit disappointed but it shows uh, that positions can be made up and if you're interested in joining the league here's the calendar it's a British season so we're going to all the British tracks plus two others have been selected by popular vote which is Hungaro Ring and Hockenheim so really good uh, calendar for this event uh, there's a link in the description if you want to find out more uh, but yes, very excited by this championship, uh, but now excited for race two. Can I uh, make amends for my poor showing there in race one? Well, here we are with race two, and we're off on a start. But Carl's got a really bad start there. We just avoid that. I'm not sure exactly who that was. It looked like they may have been hit behind us as well. So just want to keep the car clean. Got nice inside we know exactly how starting in this position works from the last race looks like Koenig's gone wide Meester's is going a bit slow but I don't want to throw it in there because I don't want to risk contact but now we're on the outside and we're going to lose positions here Meester's is going slow again and we've lost some positions and we're we're coming under pressure from behind can I 
Go around the outside, maybe. Oh, someone's off. Couldn't quite see who that was. And then uh, that looks like Line was off as well. So that's two positions, but we're still behind Meesters. I'm not really going to do anything here. There's no, nowhere to go. Can't. Don't want to force the issue, but then Pepper is putting a lot of pressure on from behind. So go. Oh, Meesters is a bit wide, and he spins. Oh, no. Well, oh. Straight into him. Oh, and it's a big pile up. Oh, this is getting even worse, this event. And the car needs to tow again. That's a re replay of the start. Good start from pretty much everyone, but you see the green car there. He doesn't get going, and he gets hit from behind by two cars. So two cars get damaged from that as well. It's clean through the first corner. Three wide at some points, and then up to Druids too wide people throwing it in there but all clean people uh, are being sensible down to Graham Hill Bend uh, nothing to report we're riding on board with uh, Ollie Edrich and he throws it in on line and he hits him just runs out of space there he's he's broken so that's the car off that we saw and line is uh, slowly coming back but he's back up front with the leaders too wide <laughs> a lot of the field I think they're slowly getting single file it's like Gareth's better than moving on someone there but here's here's myself we were right behind Meesters uh, and we see Richie just loses it here and had absolutely nowhere to go and it just caused a massive pile up in total six cars got wrecked there so and my rear wing is in the middle of the track. So I managed to get back out, back on that free, and Martel is off in the gravel there. So something else has happened. Uh, we're down in 29th at the position uh, at the moment and managed to come out with loads of other people that uh, that had to tow from the first lap or seek repairs. And that now in this odd position where we're quicker than the guys ahead, but they're a lap ahead. Uh, so they're battling. I don't want to get involved with their battling. Uh, I don't want to ruin their race. Uh, my race has already been ruined. Why ruin uh, someone else's race? But at the same time, uh, there are lots of people on my lap for position right behind me. And they're, they're going to be fast approaching. So, so what do I do? Uh, I don't want to make any stupid moves. Uh, but they're all battling in front of us. And as you can see, Line, who was involved in that incident in the first lap that we saw in replay, he's right behind us now. Olive's putting the move on Pepper. But Pepper, I think he's trying to come back. And he always oh, slows a bit. Oh, I almost, hit, almost into Steve Pepper. He, I think he was going for the cutback. Oh, someone behind us is off into the pits. Let's have a look at replay. What happened to Martel? Just got hit under braking, sent straight into barrier. That broke his car. We're back here on lap four. Nothing much has changed. I'm stuck behind Pepper and someone's off there. It's Forrester, he's off. But that's for position, so we're up another position. And now at this point I'm thinking, well, I need to get past Steve. There's a bit of a gap, maybe I can, but Greening's coming back. He's a blue flag for him, so I have to let him pass uh, so he can have a battle with Steve. Maybe let off a bit too much. Lost ground, uh, and Lion is, is back with us. So into lap five. I'm now a bit more comfortable turn on, but there's two cars off. Two cars off, and one of them was for position, McManaman. So we're, part, we're up another position. It'd be interesting to see what happened there. And another car off, but that's not for position. That's Mike Murphy. He's just off to the side there. So it's all happening. A frantic race, race two. Let's have a look at a replay here. There's Chris going off. He just put, went wide. And Will was out wide and he spun it. And here's Don Parker making a move on McManaman. And Don gets passed, but then loses it. And after McManum let, let him have the position because he was being lapped, he gets knocked out. So jump forward to lap seven. 
Uh, Line has got past. He's two ahead. We're right behind Olive. I'm going to shape for a move here, so I feel like legitimately I can do that because I can battle with Line. So we're past Olive. He didn't uh, put up uh, too much of a fight there. But we see Martel is now coming to the picture, so there's another ch a chance for another position. But we've got Pepper between us, and uh, looks like Lime was uh, trying to get a move done on Pepper, but that's left the door open for us, and we're going to take it. We're going to go down the inside here. We get past uh, David, and that's up a, a position, well, claiming back a position. So a bit of smoke there. Looks like Martel is trying to get past Koenig. And Pepper's straight into the back of Koenig and they're off. Cool, that was a close one, but it allows me now to get uh, into a battle with Martel, but I have to go defensive again. I'm not doing well well that last corner. But we keep the position with line. And Martel is into the pits, so maybe when he took his uh, fast repair, he could maybe got a penalty, speeding penalty in the pits, or something like that. Uh, so we're up another position, and that puts us up to 25th. So going well so far, frantic race, and uh, looking behind us, Lines lost out to Olive, and Lines spun. So that relieves the pressure. Uh, everything is happening in this race, and things uh, are going slightly better after that one. So we're on board with Steve Pepper here. You see the two cars battling. They really slow down. Steve... Oh, he doesn't quite go to the inside enough. And that's his race ruined. And here's Line. He's uh, going to try and come back past uh, Olive. He gets up to the inside, but just loses the back end and spins it. So that relieves a bit of pressure on us. So we jump forward now to, to lap eight. We get a, a yellow flag, and that's Miles. He's off going slowly so that's another position we, we've made up let's have a look at that what exactly did Mars do similar spot he's lost the back end and because of traffic he's, he has to wait let all these cars pass he then gets off the track uh, but that means he's going slowly and uh, I think that's Gareth gone past there I oh, know might not have been Gareth that's us and then that's followed by Ken. So we jump forward to that 12, nothing much has happened but we now got Koenig and Pepper on our lap, slightly ahead but Etheridge is uh, right behind us putting a lot of pressure. Now he won the first race, that's how quick he is uh, and he's got a run on us here so I decide well we're just going to let him have the inside, we'll let him get past us important now to, to catch Steve and Koenig but he's run wide and lost a load of time and speed so I thought well might as well just take it back if he's not going to keep the position that I've given him uh, and schooling's now on our relative so we've got a chance to get up to 20th if we uh, play the end of this race right but I've had to defend the inside here it's, I couldn't track out wide so that's compromised my run down the straight here but I've cleared uh, Etheridge and oh he's hit the rear of our car gone over I can see my rear wing over there the front car is damaged and I think can we get out of the gravel no we can't so a, a replay here Ollie has the inside we let him have it he's going around the corner but then just pushes out wide he has to get out of it almost on the grass he gives us the room on the inside. So we're back on the inside. We're just about to get past now. But he's got a better line into that corner. He's better on the brakes through here. But that sort of gives him a poor exit. Uh, so he's not alongside us. We get the clear sound. And then, oh, it looks like he hits our right rear. And uh, two cars going into the same spot. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, let us know what you think about that in the comments. Uh, I'm not sure how I should have played it. It looks like we're both just going for the same space. Uh, there are stewards in this league, so I think I'll leave that one to stewards to decide uh, who was right and who was wrong. 
on that one. I do actually get out for the final lap uh, and we cross the line and I think 27 is our number. Uh, we finished 27th again. Uh, so the standings, overall standings, you can see uh, Messenger comes out with the most points there. Gareth is uh, down in 13th with six points and we're bottom. <laughs> That's how good a weekend we had. Last in 22nd, zero points for us. So hopefully things can go better for us at Donington next week. I uh, really need to have a, a better race, uh, maybe doing the 60 million qualifying I, I struggled with. Uh, uh, but anyway, if you like this one, thank you very much for watching and check out one of these other videos.